I apologise if you can hear a chainsaw running in the background. There's somebody cutting down trees outside. Here we are! We are back with... I think we're on version 3 of uh, Simon's Wabastardo board. I know it says version 2 if you look at the board, but I think we're on version 3 of the software. And uh, this is the one that has the chip that uses the glow plug to sense if the flame has flamed and has lit inside. Uh, please, um, I apologise for my uh, setup at the moment. So this is the new version of the board. Oh wait, you can't see that. Oh, no, you can't see the chip. Hold on, let me zoom in. See that little chip right there, that one, that you can't see anymore. That is the one that does the current sensing from the glow plug. So now the glow plug uh, is a, well, mine's now directly attached to the board and I apologise for this giant heat sink here on the glow plug MOSFET. Normally this would be attached to your Wabasto body, which giants, acts as a giant heat sink, but we currently have it attached to my diesel heater, an air diesel heater at the moment. And we're kind of, I'm kind of getting it running. Uh, so what's happened is, I've mostly forgotten what all of the code does. So I'm going to need your help for this one because I literally have forgotten where and what to adjust to get it to do things. I mean, I've got it to do things. I just haven't quite got it doing what I want it to do. So version 3 of Simon's board, uh, you can use a Arduino that's got Wi-Fi on it and you can make a Wi-Fi hotspot and you can control it via Wi-Fi, via Blink. But we are poor and we only have the lightweight version of the board. So we've got no Wi-Fi and also I've got no idea how to write anything in Blink to control it with. So we're just using the on-off wire, that one there, and using a 12 volt trigger. Except that's where I'm having a bit of a problem. So if, uh, I found the bit in the code that swaps it from Blink control. It's in control.ino and there's a line which would say if Blink heater on equals one, or whichever one it is, there's one of them that uses the blink to turn it on and off and I've had to uncomment out the analogue pin but sometimes it'll trigger off the analogue pin and sometimes it won't and I don't know why. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'll fire up for you just now. So here, here I am. Wait, let me zoom in a bit on this side. Zoom! Right, here I am, zoom in. And if I connect up the 12 volt trigger wire, which is that one, to the thing, trigger it. Boop. All right, that spins up. But in the code, it doesn't show me as pressing the button. The button is still on zero. That's the problem. And now it's going into shutting down. Now, if I reset the actual chip, the the, fed, the Arduino itself, I press the reset button. So now it goes through back through its booting sequence. Right, goes back to normal, and then it detects I've got. You know, the switch pu pushed, basically, the button to turn it on. Right, it's now just primed, it's glowing. It's now started to light. And it sounds terrible, because I need to adjust the fueling and whatnot, but... It is lit. The glow plug's glowing. The... The heater's running. Now, this is my problem. How do I slow down the starter up? Now, let's try and find which one's the exhaust temperature. Why is my exhaust temperature four degrees? Well, oh, that's. Oh no, wait, now it's reading exhaust. Is it this one? Yes, right, I'm holding the exhaust temperature in my hand. Is it now going to detect that the exhaust temperature's climbing? So there we go, we've got a start fail and I presume it just thinks the heater hasn't let because the exhaust temperature's not. Right, should that not be 100k? I'm fairly sure that's a 100k thing. Let me just reflash that. So friends, this is where I am. I need your clever people's help. Uh, use your clever brains, please. I need your help. So at the moment, uh, what I've got just now is it'll turn on, it'll fire up, 
but it won't detect that the flame is lit and that it's uh, running and is, is hot and is able to proceed from the firing up to the running stage. Now I noticed that my sensed exhaust flame, probably the one from the glow plug, I imagine is wrong because it's a different glow plug to the Basto and I'll need to measure the resistance and see what it's cold and hot is and then hopefully Simon or somebody else will help me put that in the code and the second bit is why my exhaust temperature starts off reading normally up to about 80 degrees and then falls back off again even though it's sitting in the exhaust stream and should only be getting hotter and hotter and hotter and from looking at the code I'm fairly sure my code's right for that but I will push uh, this version of the code that I'm running right now onto Bitbucket so you can see what I'm running and what bits I've fiddled with and uh, what we're doing from there. Uh, I'll leave, obviously I'll leave a link to all of Simon's code and the repository etc for where you can get the boards from JLC, PCB or download the Gerber files and whatnot and make your own and fiddle with it. I uh, have, I did order five from JLC, PCB but I've sold the other ones, I've got, I think I've only got this one and another one left. Uh, and I'll, if you're out there, viewers that have these boards, have you had any more success in getting them running than I have? And if so, or if not, please share, and so we can all learn from this. But, in theory, it works. I mean, it will turn the air diesel heater on, well not turn on, you know, you know what I mean. It will run it via its components and make it do things, and it will light. I just need to keep it going, and then from there I can use, well basically we can use it to set, my plan is, to use the water temperature thermistor on the body and then just set a target temperature for the body and it'll just run and stay at that and now that's it, it's just run at one speed hopefully that is the plan so please, please leave comments, questions, all the things down below and we will get this uh, going and making this run an air heater hopefully that's this part of the project let's make it run an air heater uh, thanks for watching and please, please help Thank you.